Do you have a little minor brickwork you need to take care of around your home? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to fix it in 15 minutes. Here's an example of a hole we have with some missing bricks. I'm gonna show you how to put those bricks back in and make it look almost like new. For this project, you're gonna need about a 10 pound bag of mortar mix. You're gonna need a trowel, a pointing tool, and because the mortar on this home is a red color, a little red colorant that you're gonna mix in with the mortar. Now I've mixed that in already here and you can see it's kind of a thicker consistency. You don't want it really watery because you want this to hold up as you're placing it into the hole or the joints, whatever you may do. Uh, here's the thing you have to remember. If you've got loose bricks or joints that are falling out, you have to fix that because long term water's gonna get in there and cause all kinds of problems for you. All right, now I've removed the loose bricks and now what I wanna do first, I wanna dry fit them in there. This was the bottom brick that I took out and it's gonna fit inside there. And you can see when you place it in there and you come back out, there's a pretty good size hole down there. So about this joint level right here, I'm gonna fill that with mortar so that I can then place that brick inside of there. You wanna protect the areas where you don't want the mortar to get. So you can see I put some painter's tape down over those steps because I don't wanna get any of that mortar on there, especially with a colored mortar, it can stain. So you're gonna kind of fill that in. But now once that's in there, I'm gonna place that brick inside. This is a pointing tool. I'm gonna to use this to drive that mortar into that joint so that it looks nice and even. It's gonna look like a patch. It's never gonna be perfect, but it's way better than not repairing it at all. I'm gonna dry fit the next brick in there to kind of get a feel for how much mortar has to go in there. This one's a little tighter, so it'll be a little bit of uh, some monkeying around to get it in there. This is the top of the brick when I slide it in there. What I'm gonna do is butter it a little bit on the back side with the mortar so that as I shove it in there, this will kind of spill out a little bit, but it'll also give me mortar on the top of this brick, which will help keep it all together. Now once the bricks are back in place, you wanna fill those joints with the mortar, but you wanna try not to get it all over the brick because then it'll look like a mess. If you take a, a little broom like this, kind of brush it away and get rid of the excess and work it away. And actually, if you dampen this too, that'll help as well. Okay, when this dries, Come back over it with a dry brush to clean it up and it'll look great. You're almost a bricklayer and you fix it in 15 minutes.